Hello friends, welcome once again in the tutorial part 3 of the Gradle project in IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. So now in the tutorial part 3, we will see how to export the executable jar file of our Java project. Also, we will see how to run it. In the tutorial part 2, we have seen the creation of the Java application and the creation of the test classes. Then we have seen the execution of the application and also we have seen the execution of the test cases. Now we are at the tutorial part 3. If you have not seen the tutorial part 1 and 2, please watch those tutorial first. Link given in the description for you. So please watch that first and come back and continue with the tutorial part 3. Now we are going to start with the part 3. Let's begin. So let me take you IntelliJ IDEA. This is the same project which I have used in the tutorial part 1 and tutorial part 2. So we have a simple Java program and we have the simple test cases for that Java program. To export the uh, executable jar file, we need to add few things in the build.gradle file. So first click on your build.gradle file and open it in the editor. Now we will add uh, some code here. I have that code ready in the notepad. So I will uh, go to the notepad and then I will copy that uh, piece of code and I will come back here and uh, here I will paste it this way. You can see uh, what I am doing. So we are creating a jar uh, section inside that we have the manifest and we are specifying the main class uh, for our Java program. Basically, my uh, program has uh, the main method. This is my main uh, class. So I have to mention the main class name at this place. In your case, it may be different. So you have to use the fully classified class name. If you have used the package structure, so please use the complete package structure. Suppose you have a two package structure. So uh, org.com dot something and then dot then put the class name. If you have used that kind of structure, so you have to use that way. In my case, it is directly used. So I have simply giving the name of the class file main class file on the right hand side you will see this elephant signature elephant icon with the refresh button so you need to click on it once to load the changes into the system because we have done the same some changes in the build.gradle file which is important to reload once you've done it go to the gradle tool window and go to the build section and here we have the build task you need to just double click on it when you do a double click, you can see some activity will start and finally you will see a, such a message build successful. That means your build is done and now we will go to the project directory structure. We will see the build folder and expand this node. Come to the libs. Inside the lib, you will have your executable jar file. So this way we will generate the executable jar file. Now we will see how to run this executable jar. We have a two way we can run it through the Gradle process or we can simply run it on the console. So you can go this way, do the right click, execute the jar. So you have that results of your program or your project. Or if you want to run it in a different way, we will uh, simply put a few things inside the build.gradle file because we need to do some changes in the build.gradle file. If you don't want to, uh, to run your jar file with the right click, so we will use uh, one uh, important change in the gradle file. So please come into the gradle file, build.gradle file and just come downside of the plugins so inside the plugins, you have to update the ID. ID is equal to application and then add this piece here. So application main class name, simple Java program. In my case, I have given only the name of the class because I have not used any package structure. In case if you are using the package, so you have to give the full name like this way, com.org.something and then your class file name. So 
I have done a simple way. So once you've done it, you will see this refresh button. Please click on it to reload all the changes. If there's an any error, IDE will report you. And now we have done the spelling mistake. So we have done the correction. And now when you click on the refresh, you will have the message build successful. All changes are accepted. Now we are good to go to proceed. Okay. So when you go back here in the Gradle tool window, you will find one more task. Okay, you will have the application uh, node here. You can simply, if it is not appearing, so you can simply refresh. And when you get this application node, expand this and you will get the run task. What exactly you have to do? You have to simply double click on it. And whenever you will double click, this will execute your runnable jar file. You can see the result of the console. So this time you found the way you need to simply go to the run and you need to simply double click and your executable jar will launch. So guys, this is uh, the way you can run your executable jar file here in the IntelliJ IDEA. So this is all about uh, in this tutorial session. And um, I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool it help